I'm going to do a quick video here. Um, hopefully you managed to get your 540 million goal reward where you would get these orbs. Um, I started this process and then realized maybe you guys would actually want to watch it with me. Um, so what I ended up getting were 50 fragments of this battle-tested orb. And I started combining them because I thought they would give you a random orb all of them are the same orb. I'm sure smarter people than me figured that out quicker. So I I composed them all. And the first two, I'm like, hey, I got I got copies. And the third one, I got copies. I'm like, wait a minute. And then the fourth one and fifth one were all the same. So I should have left. I should have only done one. I should have only made one orb and left the rest fragments. Um, because now I have to disassemble them. I don't think it costs anything, but we're just going to do it together. So uh, I put them on my assistant wall general. I had a, good, a siege orb. I bought one pack with orbs, and I got a siege orb. You're not looking at it now. And I got a, let's see what's on my main general. Um, I've, I landed this orb. Okay, so now I can't ascend them because I only got two orbs in that pack. And... Uh, I got this mounted HP, 20%. That's okay. The mounted troop attack, 90. I like that because it's a flat stat, and that goes to all my T1 troops. So um, it, it it really would be nice to bump this thing up. So what happens when you uh, upgrade it, it, you get to level 10, and you're done, right? So if I was able to land another one, I could make fragments out of it and uh, I could upgrade it, and then I would not be able to get any more HP. Mounted Troop HP would stop at 20. The next thing that would I would get is I would be able to advance uh, Mounted Troop Defense. Let's uh, get back in here. We're just going to go right back to the Wall General, um, my assistant Wall General, who's got the new orb on. i got to open up Specialties, click on that. Now I'm going to go ahead and upgrade. I can't upgrade it anymore. I got 10% HP. So my next level will give me defense, and we're going to go ahead and do that. I already made the fragments. It was my first time doing it. I figured we'd do it together. How romantic. Uh, now I can upgrade it. It does take the rune stones, which I, I'm not happy about. Um, I'm going to have to stop this, e this video because of work. So I'm going to take it to this level, and I'm going to have to splice in the rest. Okay, so now it's ready. So when I, I'll come back and uh, I'll disassemble another orb and we'll take this thing up and see how high we can get it. I need to go and disassemble some of those orbs. Should I do two right away? Disassemble. Does it cost me anything? No. Okay, so I wasted nothing by uh, Fusing them and then disability, or uh, whatever you want to call it, combining them and then disassembling them. All right, we're back to the assistant wall general. Sorry, my lunch meeting was a eating a big fat lunch at a Mexican restaurant with a customer, so I might have a little food comatose here. So let's uh, upgrade this thing. It's gold. There's still another level left. So now we are going to be getting. Troop attack. Okay, that's right. Oh, and I'm out. That's it. It's as far as I can take you in this video. So I'm out of rune stones. Uh, the next attribute would be a debuff. I think Genghis said it's a, a ground attack debuff, which doesn't make sense because it's everything is all troops here. I don't know why it would be a specified uh, debuff. I'm just going to look to see what I have for... What is this? What the heck? How did I get that? Did I? Is this in the current event? I don't have any of these generals. How did I get that? Ugh. Real life problems. Um. I wonder if I got. <laughs> you guys want to listen to me try to figure out where that came from or just you tell me in the comments. I wonder if I came from one of these goofy events here. So I got to add back in another note here. I was uh, looking around and I tap on this orb and I see it has all troop attack of a whole number of 250. And so then I open up my, my guy. I look, it sits there. 
it shows there but when we were looking at it a minute ago it shows like this that i get 10 percent hp defense and one percent attack uh and i couldn't upgrade it anymore it doesn't show that 250 but if you look i guess i gotta do one of these if you look right here you can uh tab over and there it is all troop attack 250 that's pretty sweet so all that 250 is going on my my t1 layers too so that's uh I, I, I'm not going to do the math. That's probably more important than all the other stuff. I shouldn't say that. It's pretty good to get HP and defense 80% total on all my troops. So uh, I'll take that. Um, we talked yesterday. I was going to show you some of my uh, current buffs. So let's just say this would be the first hit when I started at 1.1 <clears throat> on that rally that I took. Uh my buffs i got decent attack i mean this is just my base attack at home my range is 1144 i don't think my range is that high when i'm sending out my best range march um so i'm close to a thousand on everything i'd like to get up my ground attack a little better but uh i'm pretty happy with the defense and hp on these um so let's look at my my siege attack is 1457 Let's see if this guy has around 727 for his debuff on me. Let's see. He does not. So he's not fully debuffing. If you look at his attack debuff for Siege on the very bottom, he's only debuffing 368 of my Siege attack. So Siege attack percentages would definitely help my upper layers of Siege. Um, if I wanted to, to get any of those, I could leave those on when I'm refining my wall gear. Editing there of that video, uh, we were talking about a rally. It was only a two-person rally. So he lost the benefit of all his, his sub gear. And in your sub gear, you get tons of siege attack debuff. So if he would have sent his sub generals, this would have been much higher. And he probably would have been able, been able to fully debuff my siege attack. So I just wanted you guys to keep that in mind. Um, same thing with my siege attack. It only shows 640. That's because I debuffed half of his. My 640 is way higher, but it's only going to show on the report half of what you can debuff. So I don't have it in front of me to look up a report to show you how high my attack debuffs go. I'll try to include that uh, eventually. Um my debuffs what did he send at me did we say ground so he's he's got a 2200 ground attack for my server that's really good um i am not debuffing that i would need a thousand eleven hundred i've only got on the on my debuffs you see the top one there is 613 so i can always use more ground attack debuff um i could not fully debuff his defense or I think I did debuff his HP though. His ground HP is halfway uh, fully debuffed as far as I could take it. So maybe I have more HP debuff there than I know of. So I don't know what my limits would be. Um, but this is kind of how you would read a report. Your debuffs are never going to be higher than half of his buffs. So um, I, I guess we'll just leave it at that. Make this a nice short and sweet uh, video. Until next time.